Hey you guys, Jeffrey Hollis Carpet Cleaning here. It's a nice wet rainy uh, Saturday. We're on our only job of the day. Try to take it easy heading into the weekend. We do have a uh, one commercial job tomorrow as well. So over the weekends, you know, when there's work to do, I take it. But I try to take a very easy load just to, uh, you know, working pretty much six, seven days a week. It's kind of nice just to take a break so my my break a lot of times is <laughs> just taking it easy and taking it really slow during the day and that's my break so uh anyways um we got our water hung up and um one thing i do like to do is just put some cones up so that um you don't have a tripping hazard in the way of anybody um i always make an effort to pull uh, all my equipment out of the way and stage it in places where it's not going to be a tripping hazard however i have had uh customers and clients you know even though i say you know watch out i stage everything over here so that it's out of the way and one guy still managed to trip and pull a ligament um, I don't know how he did or why he did. I told him it was there. It was obvious that it was there, and he still did it. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to do more to, to, to make things better other than just keep running back and forth to the van to keep all my equipment inside and out of the customer's house. All right, so we're inside. We're gonna clean up this area rug here first before we get going, just so we can roll it up and get out of the way. So I'm gonna treat it with the commercial magic that I had prepared earlier this morning. And we're gonna agitate it manually using a grande groom and just give it a quick extraction rinse with the, the water. Um, truck probably here in the background is running right now, heating that water up to a good 230 degrees or so. All right, so we're unable to do a hundred percent full, absolutely everything on this area rug, but we got it looking very good. We got all the little food and stuff off of it, so it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna roll this up, get it out of the way, and then we'll begin uh, pre-treating, agitating, and cleaning the rest of the, the area up here. All right, so this job didn't actually turn out like we were planning. I was going to do the hot water extraction and the uh, pump filter. There must be a filter or something that's jammed because my, my pressure is getting to about 100 pounds and then it's not doing anything. So I can't really do anything with that except for maybe upholstery cleaning, if if that. Um, well, the vacuum, we completely 100% filled our entire bag. It is full. Um, very, very compact and there I took a quick look and it was just absolutely we're not getting anymore I'm getting gonna have to change that thing but we've gone ahead and gone through and we pulled out our CRB and we're just doing a quick um, cleaning and for what it is um, we're doing the best that we absolutely can this is kind of like an emergency last minute cleaning we're not going to be able to get this matted candy and stuff out of there. You can kind of see the taffy and whatnot in the carpeting, um, other than using a bunch of hell gel all over the place. But because we can't rinse, I don't really want to take that option because you risk leave because that stuff doesn't leave residue, but it does leave uh, the carpets kind of lightened and stuff if you don't get it fully rinsed. But um, it's looking really good. We just did a vacuum and we extracted it in the over there. And we moved all the furniture and everything over. Now we're finishing up in here. We're just going to use our commercial magic, give it a good spray, and then we're going to give it a go with the CRB. And we are collecting lots of goodies out of the carpeting. Okay, we've just finished up in here with the CRB. And regardless of whether or not I wanted to do the hot water extraction, I think the CRB was the right call just because of the sheer amounts of debris that we were able to get out of the carpeting. Um, I think a lot of times that's a lot more important than than the hot water extraction. Hey you guys, despite the fact that things didn't go according to plan, um, look at all the Christmas presents we were able to sift out of the carpets there. Um, it's just one of the trays. The other trays has probably mm, maybe half this amount in it. 
The front tray always picks up the most just because of the, the way that the wheel spins and everything. So, um, yeah. In my uh, professional opinion, I would have done a pet premium would have been my suggestion on the carpeting. And what that is, is basically going over, running on the CRB to get all that crap out of the carpet. You see there? And then go over with the steam clean just to, you know, it's kind of like the icing on the cake. Um, you guys have your own opinions. Um, some guys just hot water extraction, that's all we're going to do. But how do you know that all that plus a 100% Kirby bag full of debris pulled out. Um, you guys do what you want, do what you will, but uh, I try my very best just to be as thorough as possibly can because I feel that it's that debris accumulation in the carpet. If getting that out is more important than actually cleaning the carpet itself, so uh, that's my thought, and that's why I'm a die-hard. Um, vacuum guy as far as just getting all that dry debris lifted out so uh you guys have a great day thanks for watching the video and i'll catch you in the next one